Good evening. How you guys doing? Come on, we're digging a well. God is good. God, good things for this region. And uh, we're just going to continue to press into him. Press into him until the heavens rend wide open. And the glory of God comes and rests on a place for the sick, the bound, the hurting, the outcast. Know that there's a place where they can meet God. Amen. Amen. So we're just going to worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords. That's what we're here for. We're here for Jesus. To pour our love upon him. Amen. To touch heaven and for heaven to touch earth. Let's just begin to lift our voices. Just begin to lift your, your heart to the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. We're here to meet with you. We're so thankful, Lord, for what you've done in our lives. We're so thankful, Lord, for what you've done in our lives. We're here to pour our love on you. To thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. Te amasita nana ele. Pa robo si katana ele. Rabasana kia rebo tono ele. Pa ramasita nana ele. Tile mo ramana e kayata na ele. Po robo si na kayata basina. Hila mo nono ele. Hila mama masana ele. Pa rebo sana nana e. Lift your voices to the Lord. Hira matana ele, rama robo si tana na e karamana ele, tora mama si tana na ele burato. Paya rabo si ka, we invite you, Lord, come and fill this place. Si rabato kaya na ele basato, hila mama soto kia raba sana ele, lemo satana kaya ala. Pele bosana ele, ramasi katana ele, robosi kayana ele, hila monono ele, payara, hila mama, I give it to you, Kendo, le bosana eka. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. 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 Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. But I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my hands. For I will always see when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I 
could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing. Oh, I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. Oh, I could sing of your love forever. Oh, I could sing of your love. I could sing of it. Yeah. Oh, I could sing of your love forever. Oh, I could sing of your love forever. Oh, I could sing of your love. never gives up. He never runs out on me. Your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Your love, oh, it never fails. Your love, your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Oh, your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Oh, your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. It never runs out on me. Your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Your love, hey, your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Who oh, you love? Who oh, you love? I could sing forever. I could sing of your love. Forever, 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 I could, I could sing of your love. Forever. could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. forever. in death, in life.
death in life I'm confident and covered by the power of your great love My death is pain There's nothing that can separate my heart from your great love in death in life in death in life i'm confident and covered by the power of your great love my debt is paid my debt is paid there's nothing that could separate my heart from your great love. I could sing, I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love. could sing of your love forever oh, I am an instrument of exaltation I was born to of all names you hear the melody of all creation but there's a song of praise no one can only bring who else is worthy who else is worthy there is the only Jesus, who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one. Only you, who else? Who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one. Only you, Jesus, who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one. Only you, Jesus, you are the infinite God of creation. Yet you chose to make my heart your dwelling place you heal my brokenness show me your glory so I have songs of thanks not even angels sing who else is worthy who else is worthy there is no one only you teach is worthy who else is worthy there is no one only you Jesus who else is worthy who else is worthy oh, there is no one only you Jesus who else is worthy Jesus, but you, Jesus, they 
Lamb of God, anointed one, who was and is and is to come, seated on the throne above, holy, holy, righteous one who shed your blood, who proved to us the Father's love, Jesus Christ be lifted up, holy, holy, Lamb of God. Anointed one who was and is and is to come, seated on the throne above. Holy, holy, righteous son, you shed your blood to prove to us the Father's love. Jesus Christ, be lifted up. Your blood to prove to us the Father's love, Jesus Christ, we live dead. Who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one, only you, Jesus. Who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one, only you, Jesus. Who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one, only you, Jesus. Who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no
Who else? Who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one, only you, Jesus. Who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one, only you, Jesus. Who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one, only you, Jesus. Who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one, only you, Jesus. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, anointed one, who was and is and is to come, seated on the throne above. Holy, holy, righteous one, you shed your blood to prove to us the Father's love. Jesus Christ, be lifted up. Holy, holy, Lord of God, anointed one, who was and is and is to come, seated on the throne above. Holy, holy, righteous Son, He shed your blood to prove to us the Father's Jesus Christ be lifted up. Holy, holy, Lamb of God, anointed one, who was and is and is to come, seated on the throne above. One, you shed your blood to prove to us the Father's love. Jesus Christ, we live there. Who else is worthy? Who else is worthy? There is no one, only you, Jesus. Who else is worthy? to 
you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He's so good. As I was praying for this moment in our service, the Lord was speaking to me about when Jesus is teaching the, the parable of um, the, the servant who, who had 10,000 talents or more owed to his master. And he said, Master, have mercy on me. And his master has mercy on him, forgives him of his debt. And then as that servant's leaving, this man's servant said, oh, was very little in comparison to what this man was forgiven. And he said, pay me what you owe. And everyone around knew, hey, this guy just got forgiven a whole lot of money. And that's not right. So they go back to the master. Maybe you're familiar with the story. Maybe you're not. But what I want to highlight is he says, Then his master called him and said to him, You contemptible and wicked attendant, I forgave and canceled all the debt of yours because you begged me to. And should you not have had pity and mercy on your fellow attendant as I had had pity and mercy on you? And in wrath his master turned him over to the torturers till he should pay all that was owed. So also my heavenly Father will, will deal with every one of you if you do not freely forgive your brother from your heart, your heart his offenses. And the Lord was speaking to me about this, saying, <clears throat> so often I sit with people, I minister to people, and what has them bound and what has them sick and hurting and isolated isn't what people have done with to them. It's the unforgiveness in our heart toward what people have done to us. And Jesus said, my father will release you to the torturers if you do not forgive freely those who sin against you. Jesus has forgiven us everything Every debt we owed, he forgave us. And he's saying, if you don't do the same, I'll release you to the tortures, which are the demons. And it's these demons, you know, medical science doctors have figured this out. They actually provide counseling for people who have cancer in their bodies because they've seen results of people being healed from cancer and healed from infirmities in their body by people going through counseling and releasing and forgiving people. It's amazing. But it's a spiritual principle. It's a spiritual law. So when we forgive freely from our hearts, our brothers, the, the offenses, the things in our hearts, and we let it go, as Jesus has forgiven us as believers, we're free. We're free to love Jesus. We're free to love each other. And I really felt that in my heart this evening for us that this is a call to forgive. If there's anyone right now, if I'm speaking to your heart and you feel the Lord, I want to give this opportunity that this is your time to forgive those people. Maybe someone came to your mind, someone came to your heart, and if you're in here and you don't know Jesus, I want to let you know that he paid the ultimate price on the cross so that you would be forgiven of all your debt. You would be shown mercy. See, God has written his law on our hearts. So even before the cross was preached, even before we knew Jesus, it says, the Bible says his law was on our hearts. So even though, how many of you know that you didn't have to, to learn that lying was wrong when you lied, there was something that told you that was wrong. Or if you stole something, there was something that told you that was wrong. That's because God wrote, wrote his law on our hearts, so we know. Now, Jesus has come 
so that we could be free from that sin. And he says he'll remove it from us as far as from the east as from the west, and he'll remember it no more. And we're to extend that same love, that same grace, that same forgiveness to each other. So if that's you, if you've never given your life to Jesus, today is the day of salvation. I want to invite you to give your life, to respond. The gospel, the good news of Jesus demands a response from us. But if there's someone that comes to mind or a situation you're thinking of or a situation that keeps coming to mind maybe throughout your week or throughout your life and you want to be free today, today is the day to be free from unforgiveness, from that thing that entangles us so that we can walk the, the path and the, the purpose that God has for us. So we're just going to pray together right now. I want to invite, if you're a minister, to come on up, come on forward. And this may be your opportunity today. If you're saying, yeah, that's me. I know exactly who, and I know exactly what, and I need help to walk through this forgiveness, I want to invite you to come forward. If you've never given your life to Jesus before and you want a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and you don't know what it is to be forgiven of all your sin, you don't know what it is to be free, today is a day of salvation. This day is for you. So we're going to pray this together. If you'd all just bow your heads, close your eyes with me. And if that's you and you feel the Lord moving on your heart. You can go ahead and just raise your hand. Say, so that's me. I, I'm coming back to Jesus. I need help. I want to give my life to Jesus. You can raise your hand. And we're all going to pray this together. Say, Jesus... Thank you for dying on the cross, for paying the debt that I owed so that I could be in right relationship with you, so that I could be free from sin, so that I could have joy. Thank you. I receive you today. Jesus, I ask you would help me to forgive those who have hurt me, who have caused pain in my life. Help me to release them the way that you've released me from my sin and my torment. I want to release them, and I want to release myself. Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, if you'd all stand with me, we're going to go back into worship. But I really want to encourage you this evening, if that was you, if that was speaking to your heart, if that word was for you, that you, you've struggled with, with unforgiveness or you've struggled with, with pain in your heart that, that you need help, saying, I can't. I can't do this on my own. I need someone to walk with me. I need help. These ministers and myself will be up here. And just during worship, come on up. We want to pray with you. We want to help you. You can all stand. We're going to go back into worship. You made a covenant with me Signed by the blood that still speaks Now I'm forgiven, I'm called righteous, I'm made clean There on the cross at Calvary You gave it all to purchase me You are the Savior and the God who set me free 
And now my heart cries, this is my Redeemer. With my whole life, I will give you praise. All the glory to the one who's worthy because of Jesus. I You made a way for me to enter into your holy place forever. Now I am hidden, I am covered, I found peace. Into your likeness, you transform me, making me holy like you're holy. No longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. This is my Redeemer With my whole life I will give you praise All the glory To the one who's worthy Because of Jesus I have been Bring freedom to the captives, good news to the poor, healing to the broken, joy to those who mourn. You turn ashes into beauty, the ruins you restore. I am a Jesus, I have 
We've uh, come to the time where we're coming to the table of the Lord to do communion. And so in front of you, there's probably just a little pocket there with a little communion. And uh, I just was reflecting a moment ago about the holiness of this right here. It's just what a beautiful, holy moment if you really understand the principle behind this. You know, it's not just a thing we do, and we do it every week, and I just, there's so, there, it's so holy to know that just moments, moments before Jesus died, he sat with his disciples, and it said that he just broke the be- bread and said, do this, eat this. He was giving before he gave, and in In 1 Corinthians, this was the scripture that the Lord brought me to, which was interesting because uh, it kind of just goes right off of um, Pastor Abby's word here in um, at this uh, last moment when she spoke because it's, it's so important that we understand that before we take the body and the blood of Christ, that we understand that we must go before him clean. And what a joy, what, what a joy that it is to know that if you have something that you've done that you feel shame or you just don't know how to get out of or there's a part in your life that you are, you know, you've sinned. I've sinned. I sinned yesterday, you know. I sinned today, I'm sure. I, I, I'm thinking about just my thought life and my everything, and I'm thinking, how can I get closer to you, Jesus? And he says, well, it's by my body and by my blood. And I just want to, I just want to read this scripture to you because this is so good. Because Paul, in 1 Corinthians, he's got the fear of the Lord in him. He's just got the fear of the Lord in him. And he says, I just want to read this. Therefore, whoever eats of this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord is an, in, an, in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. So there's something we got to do. We need to examine ourselves. For he who eats and drinks, oh wait, oh, sorry. Oh, no, here, for he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner, eats and drinks judgment upon himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we wouldn't be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord that we may not be condemned with the world. Come on, that's good. That's really good. That's good news. It means we don't have to be stuck. It means but, but there is sickness in your body or if there's torment in your life or if you're feeling shame or you have something, you're like, I can't shake this. Oh, Well, what does it say? Examine your heart. Examine your heart before the Lord. Repent. I love that I can just go to my father and say, I'm so sorry that I did this. Will you please forgive me? Let me remember who you are again. Let me remember who you are again and who I'm not. And let you cleanse me by your blood. And so that's what we're going to do. I just want you to take a moment to just examine how we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Everybody's got something. I got something. And it's like, okay, what can I, what can I say to be cleansed? And so take a moment. Take a moment with the Lord. And when you're done, 
want you to take the bread and take the body, uh, the, the body and the, and the blood. And, and I want you to drink it as if you know, that you believe that that thing, whatever you have, you're going to be set free. That's what this is for. So just take a moment. His blood, you've been redeemed. Wow. Such a good word, huh? The very thing that God intended to bring life if you don't treat it as holy, if you treat it familiar, can bring death. And you see Adam and Eve in the garden, and they had the tree of life right there. But they walked on right on by. They didn't, they didn't revere that one, Jesus, the tree of life, the wellspring of life. Well, we want to take a time to testify of what God is doing. But um, I'll call Truman up. He's going to do a testimony of this young man. But remind me of your name right here again. Um, right, yeah, you. I talked to you earlier. Alisa? Lisa. So I said something to all three of you ladies, but God just kept highlighting me. And I said, I want to say a testimony of, about your life. It's a beautiful thing. And so when I looked at you, I seen people standing behind you. And then I seen one, two, three, four, five people. And then I seen them like, like with Moses, he had two next to him and they were holding up the arms. And there is, you have a rich history in God. You have a beautiful inheritance in God. There's people that have labored in your bloodline and they have sowed in to Jesus Christ. And so I want to testify of the saints that are in your bloodline that have went before you so you could be where you, you are today. I want to testify of God's goodness. And if there wasn't one that was faithful named David, there wouldn't be a throne for Jesus to sit on. But I just want to testify to you that you have a rich, beautiful inheritance. Do you have children? Oh, my gosh. I just see that, that you, you, you have stewarded that. You have stewarded what's been passed down. But there's even more. And search your history. Begin to pray. Begin to search your history. Because I just see that there's even more inheritance in the spirit for you as you're gonna capture. And I just felt like God wanted to testify of those that went before you and honor you. Does that resonate with you at all? Okay. Well, can we praise Jesus? Come on. Oh, oh, let me help you. A praise is like, praise Jesus, hey! Come on. Praise is a little different. That's, hey, we gotta go high. We got to shout. We got to jump. We got to dance. Hallelujah. So come on. Has God been good to you, Truman? Yes, he has. He's been very good to me. All right. So um, you've been with Sozo for how long now? Two years. Two, only two years. And God's done this much in your life. I cannot wait to see what the next two years are going to be like. Okay, so tell us. You came, in, you came into uh, Sozo Church. And tell us why and tell us kind of what the night was like, and tell us a little bit about that. The only reason I came to Sozo was because my grandmother had invited me uh, initially. 
Uh, at that point in my life, I was pretty done. I was addicted to drugs. I was selling drugs. Um, thankfully, I had to move in with my parents, and my grandmother was living there as well. My parents went out of town, and my grandmother invited me to go to church with her. She's like, they're going to be gone. I'll be at church all by myself. Will you come with me? She knew what she was doing. I'm positive of it. <laughs> I did not. Jehovah Sneaky got me that night. <laughs> I went to the first night of the Rich Vera Revival Week two years ago. It just so happened to be the first day he was there, and then he was there from that Sunday to the next. And the first day, I was more than skeptical. I was positive that what I was watching was fake, and I was witnessing miraculous healings, um, like people getting out of wheelchairs, ditching their canes. Like It was un undescribable. I had tumors in my body at the time and was sitting in the back just kind of angry. I was like, this is super fake. He's obviously just talking to everybody beforehand and like, hey, we'll just do this. It'll trick a few people. I'll give you some money afterwards. And I was like, if this is real, he'll call on me. And he did an altar call. This was probably about three days into it. It was, it was for everybody in the room, but I really felt that one was for me. And I felt like I heard. It wasn't even I felt, but I knew I was being told you need to reach out and grab it. You have to decide. So I claimed it and I stood up and the, the call was for growths in the body or broken bones. So I don't remember exactly what it was, but he read me like a book. And at the time I didn't even realize it, but he was like, there's witchcraft in your family on this side. This like pointed out a bunch of stuff. And at the time I was like, that's not even true, but all right. Looking back at it, all of it, 100% accurate. And, uh, he also prayed for healing in my body that night, and I had three tumors in my chest disappear, and four, <laughs> four in my back shrank and are almost gone. In Jesus' name, they will continue to shrink and will be gone soon. Come on. And so, come on. He said this earlier, so I'm not going to, you know what I mean, I'm just going to reiterate, but, you know, he said he was struggling with drugs. You guys were living with his girlfriend, okay, doing, not, well, they were in a marriage covenant. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Got, you got convicted, and then what happened? I proposed to my now wife, right there, <laughs> um, that Thursday. And was telling her throughout the week, the, after the second night, I called her and I was like, hey, so like, I'm going to be a Christian again. I think it was second or third night. I was like, just so you know, things are going to be different. And then proposed to her when I saw her that Thursday. And that Sunday, uh, we got baptized one after the other and went up to Apostle Tom and asked him to marry us right then and there. Because we'd been together for a few years at the time and we wanted to be married and well, didn't know we wanted to be married. We didn't want to be married. We decided in our worldly relationship, you know, marriage isn't for us, but after coming to God, things change. And we needed to be right under God's eyes so that we could experience the fullness of his glory. And uh, Apostle Tom had Pastor Jared and Pastor Abby walk it out with us, and we went through premarital counseling, and then the church got us married six months later. You got water baptized. His, his whole life is changed. And so I just want to honor you and your wife because it was, a lot of, it was a lot of yeses and a lot of good decisions every day that has put you in this place and, and obeying him and his goodness. But we praise Jesus for what he's done in your life. Come on. Thank you for sharing. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, but one second real quick. Lift your hands to the sky. Everybody point at this man of God. I, we command these tumors in the name of Jesus. Leave him forever. We, we break that power in Jesus' name. And we command healing in this body right now. Amen. Jesus is faithful to finish the work he started. Okay, tell me. Well, what, what's going on? You had an ankle? So I've had surgery on both legs, and this morning one of them was bothering me. It felt like I had like, broken a screw in a piece of the hardware that's in there and was kind of limping around a bit, went limping by the apostle, and he called me out. 
and <laughs> uh, we prayed for healing in the parking lot, and it happened. I, it, I can't even tell it's there anymore. I can move around just fine, and definitely won't need to go to the doctor for that anymore. Hallelujah. We'll send you a bill. We'll send you a bill. No, just kidding. Praise God. Wow. We're in the parking lot. Jesus is even outside of the church. That is amazing. Praise God. Okay, well, I got good news for you. Um, let me tell you, his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. So I'm excited. God, I felt like God gave me this word. So um, in the house of God, God says to his people, he says to tithe. And simply a tithe is bringing a tenth of all of your increase into the house of God. And so we're going to give you an opportunity just a moment to do a tithe right here. And right here, you'll put it in these buckets, okay? Um, the tithe is a, is, is a blessing, um, the unfortunate part, if you don't do it, it's a curse. So I suggest, you know, move right on into the blessing. Hallelujah. Because the, the Bible says the tithe belongs to the Lord. Right? Do you, do you guys know that we're actually just stewards? We don't really own anything. The earth has been given to us as a steward. This body, you know. So some of us need to steward our body a little better. Amen. The Lord help us. But we're stewards. So everything that you get is actually the Lord's anyways, and he's given, given to you as a steward. And so in his kindness, he says, just bring a tenth back. He could say 90. Bring back 90, right? But he just wants to know, do you trust him? Do you trust him with, with your finances? Do you trust him with your resources? And so we want to invite you to pay a tithe here, or bring the tithe, excuse me. And then we, we have um, potentially... In three seconds. Wow. You are amazing, Donna. Okay, right up here, you can give online um, and, or you can text, or we have envelopes for you. Raise your hand if you um, would like an envelope. Now, the second part I want to I, I, I want to invite you to do is right here in this blue basket. Now we're in, we're a new church. Um, in this region, and so we're we're still planting in this region because we want to see all of Tacoma transform and change. We don't think we're the only voice crying. We just are going to add to the voices in this community and partner with the church that's already been here. Hallelujah. Praise God. But so this is what the invitation is. There are, are some people here that you need a breakthrough. Now, our church is called Sozo because God has given us an, a breakthrough anointing to heal, to save, to deliver, and to make whole. And that's why we have people from many other churches and other places that come because they're, they're coming to receive from that well. Now, the invitation is, is some of you need that in your family. How many, how many of you know a family member, you want, they need healing. They need to be saved. They need to be whole. Okay. So the Bible um, talks about giving an offering as a seed, sowing a seed unto that end. And so I believe that if you, want to, if you were willing to prepare an offering in a seed, and you're going to name that seed for the breakthrough, whether it's in your own body or family, for that sozo, that sozo anointing to heal, that as you give that, God is going to move on your behalf. Now, we don't, we don't, we're not paying for it. But it's an act, actually, of our faith, right? It's an act of our faith that we believe in God. We're saying, yeah, we believe so much, we're willing to put down our money. We're willing to pray. We're willing to fast. We're willing to do whatever it takes to, pr to press into what you paid for to be in reality. Does that make sense? Now, how many of you guys know that bananas don't grow in every area in the world? You guys know that? I'm just make, I may be wrong, so I'm just taking a... So there, there are different, there's different seeds that only function in certain soils. Are you guys with me? And so there's, there's a soil here that may not be at your exact church. That's different. And we mean, some of us, we may need to go to your house and plant a seed because you have a soil that produces a different kind of fruit. That's why we're the body of Christ. But I'm just telling you, in this house and in this soil, one of the things that we have been cultivating is, is to bring people to a place of being saved, healed, and delivered, and made whole. And so we want to invite you to do that. So go ahead and prepare your offering now. If you want to um, take up the Lord's invitation, if this is your house and you want to pay your tithe, you can prepare that and bring that up. And then Apostle's going to come and heave those. But go ahead and bring those down now.
And uh, the, an apostle will come up. Rabasina eka rabatana e robotono ele pa raba. Anyone need another second? Shika rabatana ele basa tana ele. So the Bible says, for the tithe to be heaved, that's how the Lord receives it. So, Lord, we heave to you what's yours. We ask that you receive it now. We honor you as the one who's given us everything. We declare, Lord, a blessing now over the houses and the families of those who have brought to you what you tell to bring to you. You said you would open up the windows of heaven and pour out abundance. We declare a blessing, Lord. Let the windows be open and let the abundance be poured out. Let every one of their needs be met. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, we come with a joyful heart to bring to you an offering. We don't come... Um, We don't come empty-handed. We come to bless you. We lift to you an offering to bless your holy name. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless you, Lord. We sow into your kingdom, and we want to see it fill the earth, Lord. We ask that your kingdom would come. Your will be done in this region, Lord. Let the power, the manifest power of God, begin to penetrate the hearts and the lives of people in this region, Lord. That's what we want. We want the kingdom to advance. So, Lord, we sow into the kingdom. We want to see a harvest of righteousness of souls, Lord. We ask that you'd use this to that end. In Jesus' name. And, Lord, we just say, Lord, meet the needs of your people. As they've if put, saying, Lord... I bring this offering to you, Lord. Just as you, you said to David, okay, yes, there's, a, there's this issue, but here's what I want you to do. Go and purchase this piece of land right here as an offering to me. And that's going to change this. And so, Lord, we see that in the scriptures. And so may this offering speak this offering, just as the blood offering of Jesus speaks, may their offering speak on their behalf. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, I have a message prepared this morning, and I'm going to do a different message tonight. Um, it's not cooked because I wrote it 30 seconds ago. But um, it's going to be a and the honest truth is, Pastor Jared's going to be excited. He doesn't even know what it is yet. But uh, I, w- I would never let him preach this this early, so I'm breaking my own rules. And uh, I say that. I'm lo- let me look around the room. Okay, who's in the room? All right. All right. Shit, I don't know. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to go deep, and we're going to have some fun. Um you don't know what you're in for it yet, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So go ahead and stand. Let's pray. Lebo satana ele. Romo sitanana ele. Put your hand on your heart. Say, Father God, I come before you. And I'm asking that you would plead my case. You would move on my behalf. 
my family's behalf. In Jesus' name, amen. That's a different type of prayer than we did even in the morning, right? Because I'm not teaching. In the morning, I said, give me eyes to see, ears that hear, a heart of understanding. But now, because of the Lord, and this is live. Oh, Jesus, help me. Okay, those who are watching, those who are tuning in, whether now or later, um, engage your, yourself, okay? In, engage your heart into this. This is not a teaching. This is going to be war, okay? So, um, so yeah. If you have, you want to take a couple verses or write a couple verses down. None of this, you don't have any of these, but you can go get them. Ezekiel 22:30, Ezekiel 13, 17 through 23. We'll start with those ones. So first 22, 30. Let's do 13, actually. Ezekiel 13, verse 17 through 22 first. Okay, so um, this is not a, a sermon. This isn't a sermon. I'm going to show you something, and then we're going to activate, okay? Um, I, want, I, want to I, want to, I want to break the powers of witchcraft tonight, okay? And I'm going to show you it in the scriptures, and then show you how, and we're just going to do it, okay? Um, show you how, what they do, and then we'll, we'll destroy their powers. You have to understand there are agents of Satan. This is, I can't, like I said, I, I haven't even preached this in Belfair in five years, okay? And so for me to be sitting here in the Lord say, preach this, I'm like, oh, so funny. Like I said this morning, what did I say this morning? Oh, we're going to lay foundations. We're going to go simple, okay? And then the Lord says, okay, destroy altars of witchcraft. I'm like, oh, great. So, <laughs> so funny. Month. Maybe it's just, you know, who's in the room. The Lord gets to, to lead, so I'm just going to be obedient. Do we have it on the screen? Okay. Likewise, son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own heart, prophesy against them and say, thus says the Lord God, Woe to you women who sew magic charms on your sleeves and make um, vials uh, for the uh, he or veils for the heads of the people um, every um, height to hunt souls. You see that? They what do they do? They hunt souls. What is what do witches and warlocks do? They hunt souls. They bind up people's souls, okay? There's many witches and warlocks in the earth, okay? It's not just Africa, South America, you know, Asia. No, it's everywhere, right? It's how Satan works. He gets men and women to partner with them, promises them something, uses them as agents of evil to bind up souls, okay? So he says, what do they do? They hunt souls. Will you hunt the souls of my people? Listen, this is 3,000 years ago this was written. This isn't a new thing. They hunt the souls. Will they hunt the souls of my people and keep themselves alive? What is the Lord saying? You're going to hunt my, you think you're going to live? You hunt my people and you think you're going to live? You have to understand, people ask me, even my son asked me the other night, how, how, God, or he, he said, you know, Father, would you help me understand how come in the scriptures the Old Testament God seems different than the New Testament God? How many have thought that, right? So I just, you know, give a long answer to him, but I'll give a, a short. I said, you know, what, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, he sent them in to kill and do all this stuff. And I said, well, go read, one, what he said those people do. What were, they, what were the people of those nations doing? Witchcraft. They're causing their kids to be put in the fire, worshiping Baal, offering their children as human sacrifices. The, 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 the wickedness of what they did, God says, that's it. I've contended with these people. No longer will I contend with them. But there are certain nations, even amongst them, he says, not them yet. 
He says, you know, their judgment hasn't reached the fullness. Their sin, the iniquity, their transgressions haven't reached the point where it justifies me putting an end to them. Even like Nineveh, he, he sends a prophet to go and say, repent. Like you're getting to that point where destruction is going to come. I, I will not allow you to pass certain things without judgment being released. Okay? And so judgment would be released, he says, if you don't repent in this much time, this is what's going to happen. They repent, God re removes his judgment. He doesn't want to release judgment. He, but he's saying, you will not release any more into the earth. Meaning like their wickedness releases demonic power into the earth. This is why they make human sacrifices. This is the abortion agenda. Every sin that is being pushed in our culture releases demonic power to rule over our, our nation. You need to understand this. That's what's happening. The reason that our nation's going down is not just sin. The sin that they, they convince humanity is okay in our nation releases demonic power to rule over the people. So how come now males don't know if they're males, they now might be females. Females don't know if they're females, they might be males. They might be what fluid, which means you know, right now I'm this and right now I'm that and hey, you know, da 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 da. It's confusion, it's a debased mind, but it's demonic powers producing confusion that darkens their minds. But there's agents behind it, pushing it, so that Satan can come and, and steal a generation to bind up souls. So this is what's happening. It's, it's, it's. So they, they hunt the souls. Will they live, the Lord says? <laughs> They're going to kill my people? And, and should they not die? Keeping people alive who should uh, not live by your lying to my people who listen to lies. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, behold, I am against you, your magic charms by which you hunt souls like birds. I will tear them from your arms and let the souls go. Say, let my soul go. Let the souls of my family go. Okay, so the souls you hunt like birds. I will also tear off your veils and deliver my people out of your hand. hand. And they shall no longer be as prey. Let me make this larger. That's my issue. It's not wanting to do that. Okay. Um, in, they will no longer be prey in your hand. Then you shall know that I am the Lord, because with lies you have made the heart of the righteous sad, whom I have uh, not made sad, and you have um, sorry, my, uh, this, this is like so tiny. Where is it up there? You have strengthened the hand of the wicked. See what I'm saying? That their sin strengthens the hand of the wicked so that he does not turn from his wicked way to, say, to, this, to, to the way of life. Therefore, you shall no longer envision futility nor practice divination, for I will deliver my people out of your hand, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Okay, so I'm going to show you another prayer that you can pray in the Psalms. David prays a powerful in the Psalms. Sometimes, how many of you read Psalms that you're like, am I allowed to like pray what David's praying? This is crazy. But you have to know who he's praying it against. Once you know who he's praying it against, you're like, oh, let's get down. But if you think it's like your neighbor, you're like, this seems harsh. I think I'm supposed to forgive. No, there are. I don't even like to say, the scripture says, don't even name the things they do. It's not even, you know this in the scripture, he's like, don't even mention Ephesians 5. Don't even mention the things that they do in the dark. Okay? That some of the things is so vile that to mention it, it's like not okay. Okay? Um, even in the uh, second service, the second service, there's a lady. Was it second service? Um... She just came forward for prayer, and she's 
ends up on the ground um, just making, you know, noises. And I just, you know, it's just a demon, but I can tell the root has not been dealt with. So she's just, you know, she's not coming to the point of deliverance. She's struggling because the root has not been dealt with. So I, the spirit just tells me it's a generational, it's an ancestral spirit because of a generational curse of witchcraft. So I command the spirit, come up. What are you doing? Uh, I've been here for generations. What's your legal right? Fear. I said, no, what's the sin of the family? Witchcraft. I said, okay, go down, brought her back up, repent for the ancestral sin of witchcraft. She does. I said, you spirit of witchcraft, come up. I said, go. And there was no struggle. It was just, she was delivered, right? So, so we have to deal with the sin, if there is any, that allows the devil to have access. See, the Bible talks about a curse without cause cannot stand. So, but Christians like to say, well, he was, he was a curse so that there can be no curse that stands at all. But it also says he was pierced for your transgressions, crushed for your iniquities, and by his wounds, Peter says, you have been healed. Past tense, right? But some of us need healing. Why? We have to apply what's been done. We have to appropriate what's been done. So if there's evidence of the need of appropriation, let us appropriate. Amen? If there's evidence of something pursuing, let us not just stand and let it entangle your soul or your family or your children. Some of you, you, you don't understand, but your children, it seemed like they just got taken away into lawless, sinful things. I promise you, there are powers behind it, witches and warlocks, who, for whatever reason, Satan gives an assignment. Maybe there's a light. This is what you'll do. I'm, I don't know why I'm going. <sighs> there's a light, oftentimes, on people's lives that Satan goes, this one. God intends to do something powerful through them. It hasn't even manifested yet, but they can see it. It's like a, a I don't want to share certain things because then people like this stuff and then we, we misunderstand it because it's past your level or, you know, not everyone's, but some people. And then it's confusing. It's like, what? And then the video. And I'm like, great. So anyway, so, so it's like a star. The scripture talks about, I see a star rising from Jacob, Right? You know who said that? Baal. Balaam says that. I see a star. He's prophesying about Jesus coming, rising with a scepter from, from Jacob. He's speaking about Jesus. But the star is not just the star of Bethlehem physically. It's a light rising. In, this, in the Hebrew mindset, the stars are angels. You understand this? The stars are angels in the Hebrew mindset. Okay, so it's like you have a, have a light put upon your life from your coming. So he saw, Balaam saw thousands of years into the future and he, see, he could see in, into the future and see a light rising. And this is why the scripture says in Isaiah 60, rise and shine your light has come and has shined upon you. So anyways, there's like a light upon your life and it's like the devil recognizes the brightness of your light and does whatever it can to put it out. In the spirit will bind your children you, you, how many of you have known some of you are like, oh, man, God, if God gets a hold of this one, oh, hell is going to pay. There's something on their life that even though they're not serving God, you're like, if they point this towards God, it's over. Satan's going to pay. Okay. And that's oftentimes many people who go into drugs, go into like crazy living, is there was something there that Satan said, I got to lasso this one and bring him down. Because if this one rises to the occasion that the earth is groaning for, we're in trouble. He's going to make our kingdom a footstool to his king, okay? So they'll come and they'll bind up the souls of the people. So anyways, this is why the nations hate Israel. Because there is a coming back at some point, a great rising of the star, the light of Israel will rise. You're going to see rabbis, you're going to see people who rise professing Jesus Christ at such a power and a level that the nations will be shaken by the knowledge of, of Yeshua HaMashiach that will shake the souls of people and cause many to come to Christ, and many of the Jewish people, and then the coming will come. So you have, they have to, they hate Israel and they want to bind and keep Israel down. Why? Because God still has a promise on them 
and they don't want that promise to be fulfilled. And this is why Moses, Pharaoh, tries to kill all the babies right at the time of Moses. Why? A light has shined. The principalities, power stones, and dominions know a light has shined. We got to put that light out. You understand? Joseph, a light had shined. Put him in a pit, try to kill him. You have to understand this. David, a light had shined. Saul, filled with demons, tries to kill him. It's not just envy. That's the trick of to get Saul to try to kill the anointed one. Jesus, Herod, tries to kill him. You need to understand, they understand the lights that are shining in the spirit realm. So angels release light, but so do you. You're a city on a hill, the light of the world. You need to understand that they can see your light. And then they come to bind you, to bring you down so that you can never actually manifest the light that God wants you to in the earth. Like I said, I don't really want this on video, but just mainly because, like I said, I, I don't, the misunderstanding of, of weak Christians who don't understand anything spiritual at all anyways. It's like, oh, Jesus has done it all. We just enjoy until we go to heaven. Yeah, okay. Stay bound. Stay bound. Stay manifesting nothing of the kingdom of God. It's not what I want, but it's what's going to happen if you don't try to go deeper with God. Okay, so God says, should they live? He's not okay with it. So then if you go a couple chapters later, he says in Ezekiel twenty-two thirty, I sought a man among them who would make a wall, who would stand in the gap before me, um, be, be whole, uh, in, in, on behalf of the, the land, so I would not destroy it, but I found no one. Okay? So he's looking for someone who will, who will say, that's it. That's it. I catch what the Lord wants to do. And I'm going to partner with them because you know God is looking for people on the earth to partner with. That's what he, everything he's he's entrusted men with the dominion of the earth. So everything he wants to do on the earth, he, he wants to do through men. And that's why he had to become a man to do what he wanted to do, okay, in the earth. And so he's looking for people. Okay, now we're going to pray. So um, how many of you just kind of just wave at me. Um, there are, um, you know, when you go to a doctor, they'll say, what's your family history, right? Heart, you know, cancer or whatever, right? Uh, diabetes. How many of you, you go to the doctor, they ask you that. How many of you actually have to check some stuff because you know your family history? Okay. So all of that can be broken. Okay. So let me just testify for a second. Let's say diabetes. Okay. So type 1 diabetes, which is, just to let you know, is a generational curse invoked by a demon, okay? So you can be healed and delivered today, okay? Um, I had a, a, a man, um, Darren Stott at Eden Church, where it used to be formerly uh, Seattle Revival Center, um, came forward, said, heard that, those words, came forward, says, well, you know, by the way, I'm a Jewish man, pure Jewish man. I'm a doctor, retired. I have type 1 diabetes. Everyone in my family has type 1 diabetes. Our animals have diabetes. You know, he's joking. He's like, everyone. It's just everyone, you know. And I said, okay, simple prayer. 20-second prayer. Simple prayer. What? Just break generational curse. Repent for the ancestral sin. Break the curse. Arrest the spirit. Command it to leave. Command the organs to be restored. Because what they've done. I said, okay. May the Lord bless you. I leave, I come back like a month and a half later. He asked me to come back and do a teaching on inner healing. So I come back, I do a teaching on inner healing. And he comes, he says, you wouldn't believe it. I said, I probably would, but go ahead. And he says, I went to two different doctors because I didn't believe the first one. First one said, I no longer have diabetes. And the second one said, I no longer have diabetes. I have no symptoms, no medicine, no nothing. I'm completely healed. I said, you've been delivered and healed of diabetes. So, but it's just a generational curse simple okay now there's other things that doctors go we don't know what it is you have all kinds of issues but we don't know what it is okay it can just be a demon that have found access you just need to repent you can be delivered but sometimes it could just be witch witchcraft right they're binding an area give me give an example so um so uh my wife and i go into a fast 
and a couple years ago, we go into a fast. It, it's on New Year's. We go, right? This for us as a family, we go into a fast on New Year's uh, oftentimes. And we go into this fast. And I'm just telling you, it was like the no grace. How many of you try to go into fast? And this? this is like, what just happened? Like you feel like you're on day 39 and it's day one. You're like, oh, am I going to live? You know, it's like, it's, it's lunchtime. You should be fine. So anyways, there was no grace at all. It felt like I was dying. My wife too. I was like, what is happening? This is not okay. But the night before when we instituted the fast, a young boy was there who um, Pastor Jared started praying for and he manifested during just worship. So it wasn't like we were trying to pray for him. He just manifested in the presence, right? So then we start praying for him. Um, and then, you know, that's kind of how it went on for a little while. Anyways, so I don't connect the dots until later. I'll tell you what happened. So then, so then I'm like three days in going, man, this is the worst, like fast ever. Like I am just feel like I'm getting, I can't sleep. I'm just being like, it's just not good. And so, um, I go to, pr I go into prayer, like, Lord, what's going on? Right. And um, I know those things happen at breakthrough, but the breakthrough is going to come with resistance, right? The enemy, again, he could see almost like a light shining before your breakthrough. And he's like, oh, we have got to stop this. And so I'm just thinking it's that. I go into, a, after prayer, I fall asleep. I go into a dream and that, that child and his mom is in the dream. And it's like, I wake, I know exactly the dream. I'm attacked by a witch and it's like connected to these, this, this family. And... This family has been going through some stuff. We've been trying to help them. And, um, and so then um, we're not seeing the breakthrough. And uh, it was only just like one time we meet with them and they're saying all these issues. We don't see the breakthrough. Pray for them in that night and then I'm being attacked. So then in the dream, I see, oh, it's actually witchcraft. That's what's going on in this family. And that's what's now because of our ministry to this child reason against us is this actual spirit of witchcraft that's, that's binding this family. So anyways, I come out of it and I'm still basically, it's like my spirit man's telling me something's in the room and I see a demon physically in the room, like a serpent face, beautiful eyes. That's what caught me off guard. Very beautiful eyes, but just like a, like a desert, you know how it's cracked? It's like the skin was like that, just this thing, bald, no hair, and just nasty. I said, I rebuke you. And my wife woke up, you know, she was like, what's going on? And I said, I rebuke you. I said, don't worry about it. I rebuke you. <laughs> you know, just like, I'm this little devil. And so um, anyway, so then it broke. Um, and then I'm, I, it broke because it had kind of come, right? So then it breaks, it leaves. Lord says, go to your kids' room. I pray. He says, go back to your room, pray. Do, 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 do. It breaks. Do, do. Fasting with grace, right? After that. So then I go to that family. So this is what the Lord showed me. Yes, we know, we know. I said, why didn't you tell me? Well, you know. And so, you yeah. know, and the other stuff that unfolded from that. But anyways, so, so, but I had come against something that was bound by witchcraft, unknowingly tried to just do deliverance, but it was actually in, in somewhat a partnership with Satan and then, resist it come under attack the lord shows me boom destroy free not a big deal but again i came against someone whose pr family's practicing high level witchcraft so anyways so these things are um i had a a, a, a disciple of ours his name's uh, romeo in burkina faso west africa and he invites this lady to lit he's like just take everyone in right so he has all these people he takes into his house takes this lady into his house doesn't know she's a witch she's intentionally been sent he takes her in out of compassion because he was an orphan so he has a huge heart doesn't pray about it just takes her in well all of a sudden after a couple weeks his son falls deathly ill his wife is sick she's got a stroke half of her body's not working and the son is at the point of almost death and he's just praying and fasting and going, what is going on? And he hears the spirit of the Lord say, look over at your son. And he's just in prayer and he looks over and he's now like I was seeing in the spirit and he sees a rope tied around his son, just choking, you know, 
destroying his son. And so um, he's like, Lord, what is this? And he says, go ask her. And he sh the Lord says, go ask her. And he shows him the woman. And he says, what are you doing here? And boom, God hits. An angel slaps her. <laughs> you don't think an angel will do that. This woman has come to kill his family. So she's struck. Pow. And she's, ah, you know, fire instantly, spiritual fire instantly. And she starts confessing. I was sent here by the head witch of this region to destroy your family, to bring you down. And so he, he that, that the head witch shows up because it's a spirit thing. She knows now she, her, her, your agent has been, been exposed. So the head witch shows up and he says to the head witch, you need to repent. So the lady before the head witch shows up unties because the fire is so intense on her. She unties his son in the spirit. Boom, son comes, wife completely healed, set free. But she was doing a, a wicked dance around the sun and it was being untangled through this wicked dance, right? And that's how they operate. Oftentimes it's through the, these type of things. So anyways, the head witch shows up and he says to her, out of his mouth he releases the word, if you don't repent in 14 days, you're going to die. In 14 days, on the 14th day, she dropped dead. So, so you know, of course he's like, I was hoping she would repent, you know, like, I just killed someone. He was like, I'm a Christian. He, he dealt with so much. Uh, and the enemy tried to use that in shame and all this stuff. Like, I, I shouldn't have released those words. I was upset. And she, she didn't repent. And I just said to him, she had a chance to repent. And she didn't. You didn't touch her. God released judgment. If it, wasn't a, if it was a curse without cause, in a sense... God wouldn't execute. God wouldn't do anything. You spoke words, God executed. You leave that into God's hands. So anyways, I'm just letting you know, they will bind. And many people whose children are taken off into to perverse things and into uh, 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 drugs and all kinds of stuff, it's, it's a pursuit of, of witches and warlocks, okay? So I'm going to lead you in a psalm. I'm just going to read the Bible. And the Bible verse is going to release fire upon your enemy. Okay, because this is just David praying some crazy stuff against things. And uh, you can keep this psalm as when you feel that attack rising, you just write this down. Psalm 35. Psalm 35. Okay. And it's called the Lord avenges his people. Okay, you ready to fight? You got to. I like to fight on my feet. So you're just, we're going to read one, one verse and you're going to begin to pray it for your children, for your marriage, for you, for your, your, your finances, for your health, for your, your parents, for any person that you can see right now, even right now, Holy Spirit, I ask that you bring to their mind the areas that Satan has bound, whether their children, their work, their health, their mind, their progression of spiritual things. What areas, Holy Spirit, can you show them? That, that they're being pursued by demonic powers, by humans who have partnered with Satan to come against their, their lives. Lord, as we pray, I ask that you would untangle, set them free, set their homes free, set their relationships free, set their children free, set their finances free, set their health free, set their hearts and minds free, set their souls free. Let's just pray in the spirit for a second. Le ba tono ele. Parama soto kia ramanana ele. Lebo satana kia. Lebo rabatana ele. Those who are watching online, this is for you as well. Rebo soto. Ele masa. Rebo kata. Remo toro. Ela masa. Eka raba. Tono ele. Rabasana eka. Rabatana ele. Robosina. Ele masa. Verse 1 on the screen. Leba sana ele. Go ahead and say this. Say, Lord. Plead my case with those who strive with me, fight against those who fight against me. So right now, Father God, we ask, just you begin to pray. Right now, Lord, we ask that you would turn your face against those who pursue us. Those who fight against us, Lord, we ask that you fight against them. Every witch and warlock who's 
coming to pursue and to fight against us Lord we ask that you fight against them hear our case plead our case we ask that you would fight against those who fight against us Leba Sata Lemokara Lemosita Ramakaya Elebosana Holy Ghost fire against every person every witch and warlock who's risen themselves against our family who's risen themselves against us who has risen himself against our children. We ask that, Lord, you would fight against them right now. Rebosita, lemakaya, robokata, lematana, leborabasina, lebakaya, romosita, lemakaya, ramatana, lebokaya, rabasana, lelebosana, kilabasa, remokoto. The second verse there, lematada take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help Limosata. lord we ask that you would take shield and buckler armor and spear lord you would rise up for my case and stand for my help and lord verse 3 also draw out your spear and stop those who pursue me stop those who pursue me stop those who pursue me right now lord we ask stop those who pursue me my children and my family that right now lord you would draw your spear out you would release your spear right now we ask that right now in the spirit lord you release your spear against those who pursue me and my wife my children my family this church the disciples the elders the deacons the people lord we ask draw your spear out and that lord you would release your spear and it would pursue the wicked until they relinquish their attack lord we ask that you would release your spear against them until they relinquish their attack we ask that that spear pursue them to stop those who pursue us say to my soul I am your salvation, Lord. We ask that you speak to us. And assure us that you are our deliverer. You know the word salvation. It means to save, heal, and deliver. You are our deliverer. You are our salvation. Verse 4. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life lord right now those who seek after their lives those who seek after our lives lord let them be put to shame those who want to bring us to shame and dishonor we ask that you bring them to dishonor bring them to shame those who seek after our lives lord we ask that you cause them to fail rabashika lematana let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt Lord we ask that you would cause them to turn back be brought to confusion those who plot harm against me against my children against my marriage against this church against your people let those who pursue and, and have plotted harm, mean to hurt me and my family, Lord, let them be brought to confusion. Let them be brought, turned back. Turn them away from our pursuit, Lord. May they be brought to confusion. May they not be able to find us. May they not be able to find our family. Reba, sana, eka, Holy Ghost, fire right now. Let the power of God strike every witch and warlock right now who is plotting harm who is plotting harm against our families let right now holy ghost fire be released upon them let confusion enter their 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 mind right now let confusion enter their hearts right now let confusion enter their camp right now let them be put into a place of confusion lord those who who are witches and warlocks who are working against our lives our our blessing working against our health, causing harm, sickness, binding our souls. Let that bind be broken and let them who have bound us, let the same trap they've set for us fall upon them. Leba Sika, 
rebotono leba sana leba kaya romo sita le kaya romo kita rama tika raba let them be like chaff in the wind let the angel of the lord chase them reba sana re katana look it's the bible <laughs> let the angel of the lord pursue your enemies witches and warlocks partner with demonic powers to bring the saints down let your angel be released upon them right now every witch and warlock who has risen itself against their lives against this church against this family let your angels be released let the angel of the lord be released against them leba sana robo sika reba raba tono ele hear our case lord hear our case lord send your angel may they be shafted in the wind may they be blown about finding no root no solid ground until they relinquish their attack may the angel of the lord chase them let their way be dark and slippery this is the bible let their way be dark and slippery let their way be dark and slippery let the angel of the lord pursue them leba saka rebotono leba kaya rebotono let their sight that they do have be darkened and let their walking way be slippery as they astral project as they seek to find us may they be disconnected from the powers by which they work with and every witch and warlock right now lord i ask that every witch and warlock that is working against their lives that right now your angels will go and strike them and cause darkness to fall upon them and a slippery path for them lord may they fail in their assignment rebo shika reba tana lika raba for without cause they have hidden their net for me in a pit with which they have dug without cause for my life lord may they fall in the pit they have dug lord may they fall in the pit they have dug for our lives may every witch and warlock that has dug a pit for us for our children for this family let them fall in the pit they set let them fall in the snare they set let what they have set for the saints may they themselves fall in it what they every curse every hex vex incantation spell and curse that they have sent upon our lives may it be returned to them we we return to sender we return to sender and we bind it to them until they relinquish their attack leba sana rebo koto rema kara remo tono le baraba sita karabatana le karabatana let destruction come upon him unexpectedly let his net that he has hid to catch me into that very destruction let him fall verse 8 the destruction which he intended for me let him fall into it reba sana rokotono le masata rebotono lord right now we ask that you would cause you would push every witch and warlock that has set a pit for our children set a pit for our mayors set a pit for us lord to bring us down to bind us and to take our lives to cause accidents to cause infirmity to cause cancer to cause diseases to cause failure to cause lawsuits to cause car accidents to cause all kinds of issues cause us to be fired cause us to get sick cause us to 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 be late let that trap fall upon the one who said it let them fall into their own trap rebo shata le karaba le mukata rebatana robo si karaba sana e le mukata na e ramasile robo kaya le makaya romotono le barama si katana e le bora and my soul shall be joyful in the lord i shall rejoice in his salvation many i'm confident that he's going to deliver me i'm confident that the lord hears my case and i shall rejoice shall i because me and my family shall be free of the ones who pursue us reba sana all my bones shall say lord who is like you delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him yes the poor and the needy from him who plunders him 
Fierce witnesses rise up. They ask me things I do not know. They reward me evil for good to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, I clothed myself with sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting. I prayed, uh, my prayers returned to my heart, meaning they weren't answered. They weren't answered. The Lord said, no, they're wicked. I placed about as, I, I, I paced about as though it were a friend or a brother. I bowed my knee heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in my advers but my adversary, they rejoiced and gathered together. But at my adversity, they gathered together and rejoiced. Attackers gathered against me. I didn't even know it. They tore at me. They did not cease. With ungodly mockers at feasts, they ganache at me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me. Rescue me. Lord, we ask that you rescue us from their destruction. My precious life from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among the people. Let them not rejoice over me who are wrongful, wrongfully my enemies. Nor let them, nor let them wink with their eye who hate me without cause. For they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful matters against the quiet one in the land. They also open their mouths wide against me and say, aha, our eyes have seen it. This they have seen, O Lord. Do not keep silent. O Lord, do not be far from me. Lord, we ask, don't be far from us. Lord, don't be far. You see what they're doing. They lie about us. They gossip and slander us. They work against us. We ask that, Lord, you see what they're doing. We ask that you respond to it, Lord. We, we don't defend ourselves. We ask that the Lord defend us. We don't defend ourselves. We ask the Lord defend us. The Lord defend us. You are our deliverer. Defend us. Defend our family. Lebo Sika Rabatana. Stir up yourself. Awaken to my uh, vindication. To my case, my God and my Lord. Vindicate me, O oh Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Rebo Saka Rabatana. Lerebo Sana. Lord, according to your righteousness, I ask that you would vindicate our case, Lord. You would vindicate us. Let every curse, let every hex, vex, incantation be broken. Let every altar that is risen against us be destroyed. Right now, Lord, I ask that every altar that has our names on it be destroyed now. Let the blood be applied upon it. Let our names be removed from it. Let that altar be destroyed. Let its power be, be, be removed from it. Let it be blotted out. I blot out all witchcraft power by the blood of Jesus right now. Vindicate us. Vindicate our case, Lord. Hear us and deliver us. Let them not say in their hearts, oh, so we would, we would have it. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Lord, everything that the devil through witches and warlock have swallowed of our lives, we command it to be to be loose loose from them right now. We command it to be spit up right now. Loose everything you have swallowed and devoured in our lives. Spit it up. Rebo shata, re katana, rebo tono, le makaya, robo sana elebo, rebo katata ele, rabasi. Everything you have taken and swallowed that's ours. We command it to be released now. We command it to be released now. We command it to be released. Every part of our soul that they have bound and taken somewhere, let it be loosed and released to us. Every part of our family that they have bound somewhere, let it be loosed and released to us. 
Leba Sata, Re Kotono, Elebasa. We break every ungodly soul tie that we may have with any witch or warlock. We break that soul tie. We, 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 we disconnect ourselves, Lord. And we ask that every part of our soul will return to us right now. Every part of our soul that they bind, let it be loosed right now. We call back every part of our soul that is bound and held somewhere. Let it be re released and, and brought back to us. Leba kara. Let them be ashamed and brought to, uh, uh, to mutual confusion. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion. Le bosana, le karaba, robosata. Let let them be ashamed and brought to confusion. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion. Lord, right now, every witch and warlock that has risen against us, we ask that you put confusion, put them into confusion. Every coven of witches in this region who has bound themselves together against this family and against the saints of this region, we strike them right now. We ask that the fire of heaven come. Let the fire of heaven come. Let the spear of heaven be released. Reboshika, against our enemy, the one who pursues us and the saints of this region. Let them be released right now. Let the souls be released right now. Rekaya basa na e. Lebo rabasa ta e. Lemo kara eka rabatana ele. Rabasaka rebotono le karaba. Le karaba robokaya. Let them be brought into confusion who rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who exalt themselves against us. Re karaba. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who exalt themselves against your saints, Lord. Witches and warlocks in this region, Lord, let confusion, let shame and dishonor fall upon them who rejoice at our hurt, who set traps to cause our hurt. Let them be brought to nothing. Let them be brought to nothing. Let their traps be removed. Let their shackles and chains that have been bounding the ropes, shackles and chains and yokes that have been put on your people be broken and removed from them now. Re basata. Le bocata. Re botono. Let their name be removed. Let their photo be removed. Let their clothes be removed. Let their hair be removed from every altar of every witch. Let their blood be removed. Let any item that was taken from their lives and brought to an altar to curse it against their lives, let it be removed. Let your angels go and hatch it and remove it from their altars and destroy their altar. We apply your blood against every evil altar that has been erected in this region against our lives. Any witch, any warlock, here or in Africa, South America, anywhere that there's an altar speaking against our lives, we destroy that altar now. Lord, let it be destroyed now. We, we have released the blood of Jesus up, upon it. We break the power of witchcraft off our lives right now. Le ka ta na e. Raba sa ta ka. Re ko to to e. Le le bo sa ta. Let them shout. Let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous case. Let them say continually. Let the Lord be magnified. Who also... A pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and your praise all day long. Le bosaka, rebotono, li karaba, si karaba, rebotono, le makaya, rabatana ele. Right now, go ahead and say this. Say, I repent for witchcraft. For me, and my ancestors. Lord, I break the curse of witchcraft and I ask that the blood of Jesus wash away my sin and my ancestors' sin for the sin of witchcraft. Let the curse be broken. I receive my release from this, an this ancestral generational curse speaking against my life. And right now, I arrest the spirit of witchcraft coming against me and my family. And I command you to leave us now. Leave us now. Right now, I release Holy Ghost fire in this room. Shika, pray, church. Lebo Soto, Lebakaya, Rebotono. 
Rabatana. If I can get the ministry team to come forward. If, if you begin to feel something or you already know, you're like, no, I have family members that practice, practiced witchcraft. They practice witchcraft. And I could feel, even in this prayer right now, something happening. Just come forth for prayer. Don't let that stay, okay? So I arrest every spirit of witchcraft pursuing God's people right now. You spirit, you devil, I arrest you. I command you to leave now. Up and out right now. I release Holy Ghost fire against every ancestral generational spirit. I command you to leave now. Holy Ghost fire right now upon every generational spirit. Every ancestral familiar spirit. I arrest you. I command you to up and out right now. Holy Ghost fire against every spirit pursuing these people. Up and out. Up and out. Pray church. Pray. 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 Right now even those who are watching online. I release Holy Ghost fire against every witch and warlock. Will you come forward? There's people who need prayer. Pray church, pray. I arrest every spirit pursuing their children. You spirit pursuing their children. I arrest you. I command you to let their children go. I command you to leave now. Fire right now upon every spirit pursuing the saints' children. I arrest you and I command you to leave now. Up and out. You demonic spirit. You ancestral spirit. Up and out right now. Holy Ghost. Fire against the spirit of witchcraft. Fire against the spirit of witchcraft. Fire against the spirit of witchcraft. Up and out. Every unclean spirit coming against God's people. Hiding in their bloodline. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. You spirit of diabetes. I arrest you right now. I break the curse of diabetes. You ancestral curse, you generational curse of diabetes. We repent for all sin. We ask that you forgive us. We ask that the curse of diabetes be broken and we arrest the spirit of, of infirmity and diabetes. Command you to leave now. Leave now. Up and out. Up and out. Holy Ghost fire right now. 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 Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. We command your organs to be in order and healed. Rikatana ele. Rabasana. Yika raba. You spirit of infirmity pursuing the people. Up and out right now. Infirmity. Up and out. In the blood. Infirmity in the blood. Up and out. Infirmity in the blood. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Rikaya basana ele. Rebo satana. You spirit causing problems in the ear, causing issues in their ears. Come out now. Holy Ghost, fire right now. I break the curse by the blood of Jesus and I command that spirit to leave now. Lord, release your angels upon this place to execute the word of your saints. Every unclean spirit coming against God's people, I command you to leave now. Holy Ghost, fire right now. Holy Ghost, fire right now. Holy Ghost, fire right now. Lord, have mercy upon your people. Even those who are watching online, have mercy upon them, Lord. Have mercy upon them right now, Lord. Send your angel to deliver, heal. Fire right now on every unclean spirit. Fire on every unclean spirit. Fire on every unclean spirit. Up and out. I arrest every strong man coming against their lives to bring them down. I command you up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Every strong man, every strong man spirit assigned to keep them to destroy their relationships. Every, every spiritual spouse, I arrest you right now. Up and out. Every spiritual spouse, I arrest you right now. Up and out. You spirit that says, no, they're mine and I'm going to keep them single and I'm going to cause infirmity and sickness. I'm going to molest them in the night hour. I arrest you, you demonic spirit. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. You unclean spirit. Up and out. Up and out. I arrest every demonic spirit pursuing them and I command you to leave. I cover them in the blood of Jesus and surround them in the fire of God. Lord, when, when witches and warlocks come to, to pursue them, may they find a wall of fire and may they find the angels of the Lord encamped around them. No entry point, Lord. 
No entry point, Lord. Le busaka ya basata e rumusi katana ele rabasana ele. I I command every arrow of the enemy in their lives to be removed right now. Every dagger that has been, every betrayal, every dagger that has been put in, let it be removed now. Come out now. Every betrayal, every dagger the enemy put in them, be removed now. Every hook, be removed now. Every demonic crown that has been placed upon them, be removed now. Rebosika. Some of you have items in your homes that the enemy had someone give you and it's, it's allow, allowing a curse in your, in your home. Holy Spirit, I ask that you bring to their mind if there be any cursed item that, that has been implanted in their lives. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would even by vision, dream or revelation of the Spirit right now show them what that is so they, they may discard that item and remove it. Lebo satana ele, rabasana eka raba, Holy Ghost fire. I put fire on every witch and warlock pursuing them. I put fire on every witch and warlock pursuing their life. Fire on every witch and warlock pursuing their lives. Rekaya basata ele. I break every curse. I break every hex. Every hex against their lives. I break it by the blood of Jesus. Every hex, vex, incantation, spell, and curse. By the power of the blood of Jesus, I break it now. I remove, I remove, I remove it right now. By the power of the blood of Jesus, let it be broken. Let every yoke that Satan has put upon your people, Lord, I ask that you break it now. Deliver your people. I declare healing right now. Healing in your people right now. Let every generational curse be broken. Let every ancestral spirit be arrested and leave now. I locate every demonic spirit hiding in the people right now. Holy Ghost, come. Let the light of Christ shine upon it right now. I release Holy Ghost fire upon every tormenting spirit. Every tormenting spirit, I release Holy Ghost fire. <laughs> in this season... You know, I, I just try to do what the Lord would lead us to do. But I recognize we are first setting the people free. Before we can build, a, build up, before we can build up, before we can build up, we have to set captives free. That's what Jesus did first, right? Healed and delivered the people. Before he can unite a people, he had to heal and deliver them. Even to the disciples, he said, go preach the gospel of the kingdom, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Freely give that which you freely receive. Meaning they had first received this ministry. Then he could teach them the mysteries of the kingdom and send them to go do it themselves. Okay. So we, we have to focus on this. Oftentimes as, you know, there's more and more people free, the less and less it's needed because the ministry is just happening all the time because those who were free are setting free. But right now I can feel the Lord on it. To free the people and to put the powers who think that they rule over this area on notice. You are no longer the ruling principality in this region, the church is. Jesus Christ is the prince of polity, the ruling authority in this region. And we have come as the ecclesia, as the apostolos, to say to the powers of darkness in this region, you no longer rule this region. We claim this region for Jesus Christ. We claim this region for Jesus Christ. We put every witch and warlock on notice. If you pursue God's people, you will find a spear in pursuit of you until you relinquish that attack. You will find everything you intend to put upon God's people fall upon you and your family. Everything you intend upon the saints will fall upon you and your family. Rebo Saka, Rebo Toto, Rabatana, Rekatana, Lebo Sana, Lebo Kara. Lord, we ask that you would cause our enemy to fight themselves. Let the witches and warlocks of this region fight against each other. Let them be put into confusion 
And just like in the Old Testament, when the nation, the army would fight against itself, right now let every witch and warlock in this region who's coming against the saints begin to fight against each other. 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 Rebo basaka ya basata e rabasaka. Let them be those who can be saved, Lord. We ask that they would be saved. That those that you have an intent to save, we ask that you would save. Bring them here, Lord. Every witch and warlock that you plan to have saved, bring them here, Lord. Let them be saved. Let them come into this place. Let the fire of God strike them. Let them confess their sins. Let them be delivered and brought into the family of God. But everyone who intends to resist you until the end, let you, Lord, turn your face against them and pursue them. I cover your people here in the blood of Jesus. Surround them in the fire of God. I say no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Let angels be sent to their homes to deliver their house from anything that has found a way to sneak in and to occupy a space in, in their homes. Let your angels be sent to their homes to deliver their homes now. We disarm the powers of witchcraft in the air. Let your church arise in this region, Lord. Let those who are lost that you intend to bring into the kingdom this year, let them come. Let them come. Let them come. Let them come. Let everything that entangles them to keep them from getting saved be removed from them. Rebo sa rabatana ele boka rabatana. Rebo sa rabatana ele. Robo sana e karabatana ele. Right now I speak healing over your bodies. Every devil that has left, that has bound something, let that organ be loosed and healed now. Let order come into your nervous system. Let order come into your organs. Let order come into your mind. Let order come into your soul. I declare healing right now into your soul. I command pain and arthritis to leave. I command arthritis to leave you now. Arthritis leave now. Infirmity leave now. Perversion leave now. Rebosa rabatana ele. Holy Ghost fire right now. Holy Ghost fire right now. Holy Ghost fire right now. Every unclean thing, up and out. Every unclean thing, up and out. I declare healing. I bless your people, Lord. I bless your people. I bless the righteous ones that the blood has spoken for. Rebo shata, rebo kaya, lema kaya, robo sa, lema ka, lema ka, lebo robo sa raba, remo ka, remo ka, leba sa. Let healing be released, Lord. Let angels of deliverance and healing be, be, be upon this place. Let them be healed right now. Let deliverance, Lord, let your angels of deliverance come. Arrest every unclean spirit and deliver your people. Deliver their children. Deliver their health. Deliver their finances. Deliver their investments. Deliver their, their marriages. Deliver them. Rebo rabatana e. Lebo kayara, lemo kata, remo kaya, rebo ka, remo ka, remo ka, fire right now, fire right now, Holy Ghost fire right now, Holy Ghost fire right now. I command every spirit, I, 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 I speak to those who are watching online who are asking for the Lord to move right now, Lord, I ask that you move right now. Holy Ghost fire upon every demonic spirit, binding the people. I command you to let them go now. Fire upon every unclean spirit. I command to leave them now. I declare healing over them right now. Deliverance for them and their children right now. Rebo saka, rebo tana, le le bo sana, re katana, le bo sata. Holy Ghost fire right now. I strike every serpent hiding in the people. Every serpent, every python, I strike you now. I command you to uncoil and I command you to leave now. I strike every python right now. Holy Ghost fire, leave now. 
You python spirit, leave now. We renounce you and I command you to leave now. You python spirit, Holy Ghost fire on every python spirit. Up and out. Up and out. Every python spirit, be exposed by fire. Every witchcraft spirit, be exposed by fire. Every Jezebel spirit, be exposed by fire. Rebo sata, rebo soto, remo kaya, remo taya, rebo every infirmity, be exposed by fire. Leave now. Every spirit of destruction, leave now. Leave now. Holy Ghost fire right now. Holy Ghost fire right now. Holy Ghost fire right now. I say be healed. Be healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Rebo sa kaya batana ele robo. Rebo sana leba kaya rabatana. Rebo sana mama masita. Rebo robo tono ele. I speak to tumors, growth, things that have grown that shouldn't be. I command them to dissolve and be healed right now. I command it to dissolve and be healed right now. I speak to growths. I command them to dissolve and be healed now. Roboshita, Yamakaya, Robotono, Rebokaya. I command every veil that was put on the people to be removed right now by fire. Holy Ghost fire right now. Every veil that was placed upon the people, I put fire on it right now. Be removed. Holy Ghost fire. Every veil placed on the people, be removed now. Lemosaka, Rebokata, Rematana, Robosana. You spirit of infirmity, leave now. You spirit of depression and anxiety, leave now. Rebo saka rabababasita eka rabatana ele. Robo sana na ele bosa. Rebo sa rabatana ele. Yarabasata kaya rabasana ele. Robo sikar tamanana eka raba. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire on every unclean spirit. You religious spirit. I arrest you and I command you up and out. You proud religious spirit, I command you up and out now. I break your power and I command you up and out now. You religious spirit, you proud religious spirit, up and out now. Up and out now. Rebo shaka ya ba ta ta e ye le bo to to. I speak to their bodies, I say be healed. I command every spirit causing infirmity to leave now. Rebo kayara mana ele. Rabasata Eka. I speak to every spiritual spouse, every spirit that molests them at night, that, that thinks it's married to them. I give you a bill of divorce. I arrest you. We renounce you. We command you up and out now. You spirit, you and you spiritual spouse that molests them at night, giving them sexual dreams. I arrest you. I command you up and out. Up and out. You spirit. That, that, that sleeps with them in the night hour, causing sexual dreams. I arrest you, I command you to leave now. Leave now. You perverted spirit. You incubus, you succubus. I arrest you and I command you to leave now. Holy Ghost, fire upon you. I command you to leave now. I command you, leave now. You incubus, you succubus. You perverted spirit. I give you a bill of divorce, we renounce you. I bind you and I command you to leave now. You let the people go. You let the people go. Rebo sa rabatana ele. Romo sika rabatana ele basa. Remo. You spirit causing food allergies, you leave now. I declare healing in their bodies. Healing in their bodies. I break the curse and I declare healing in their bodies right now. Rebo shanada eka raba. Let's just take a second and pray for the region. So Father God, we just thank you for what you're doing. We declare Tacoma belongs to the Lord. We declare Tacoma belongs to the Lord. We claim it. We dedicate it to you. We repent for the sins of this region. For all the murder, for all the abandonment, for all the drug use, for all the prostitution, human trafficking, all the, the child uh, sacrifices, all the, the abortion, all the things done for Satan. 
we repent, Lord. We ask that the blood of Jesus speak for those sins. And we ask that, Lord, you would move upon this region. We ask that, Lord, you would cause an awakening, a renewal, and revival in this region. Not just in this house, Lord, but wherever your name is held as holy and revered. I ask that you would come and you would move in power. You would move in power. You would move in glory. And you would show yourself and declare your name amongst your people. You would manifest your presence, Lord, in such a way that it would cause a, 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 a harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. We call forth a harvest of souls. We call forth the, the, the scattered to gather. Those who have been vagabonds that the enemy has put a spirit of vagabond on, cause them to wander from place to place, we arrest that spirit, command to leave now. You vagabond spirit, we arrest you, we command you to leave now. Holy Ghost, fire! We command that spirit to leave now. You will not cause them to not be rooted in the house of the Lord any longer. We rebuke that spirit, we break that curse. And we bless the people. May the roots grow down into the house of God. We call forth the scattered, the wandering. We call forth the scattered and the wandering. We call forth the scattered and the wandering to come into the house of the Lord. Let them be saved, healed, and delivered. Let them be rooted in the house of God. Let them be equipped, raised up. Let their families be healed. Let their marriages be healed. Let every area of their lives reflect the manifest presence of God, the righteousness of God, the ways of God. Rebo shana eka rabatana ele. Robosika, we call forth workers for the harvest, Lord. 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 We call forth workers for the harvest, Lord. Lebo satana ele. Robosika, rabatana ele. We ask that, Lord, you cause this place to be filled. Filled, filled, filled with the hurting, filled with the loss, hurt, hurt the scattered. Let this house be filled. Lebo sana. Then it comes. To the light of your glory, Lord. Rebo shika, rabatana, erekaya, robosana, ekaraba. Heal your people, Lord. May this be a house of prayer. May it be a house of healing. May it be a house of deliverance. A house of equipping. A house of sending. Rebo shana nana ele, an Antioch, a place where we would send out the apostolos teams, people called, equipped, commissioned, and sent. To go and establish kingdom family in the earth, Lord. Use this place to heal the broken. That those who are homeless even would be restored. Rebo Shana. Find a home and a family. Those who are familyless, orphans, may they find a family in this place. May those who are orphans find a family in this place. Those who are homeless find homes. Those who have been jobless find jobs. Those who have been mad in their mind find peace. And renew, their mind would be clear. We ask that, Lord, you would give us the keys to break schizophrenia. You would give us the keys to break schizophrenia off of people. Let, Lord, this would be a place where those who have been ritually abused would be set free. Completely set free. Come and let the light of Christ and the glory of God manifest in this place. Come, Lord. Flood from this place into the streets, into the homes, into the communities of the people, into the elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools. Let revival begin, Lord. Let renewal begin. Let an awakening of Jesus Christ, the, 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 the treasure of heaven. Let the, the, the treasure of heaven, Jesus Christ, begin to manifest himself in the schools. Oh, let the darling of heaven begin to manifest himself in our schools, elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, universities. Oh, Lord, we ask that you would begin to rise up a generation like Rashak, Meshach, and Abednego who said, even if we will not be delivered, we will not bow. We will not, we will not succumb to your threats. We will not bow and say, oh, we can't talk about Jesus. No, we got to talk about the one we love. The one who healed us and delivered us. The one who rescued us from ourselves, from sin and death. We got to talk about him. Jesus Christ is Lord. We have, to, we have to declare the author of life has been resurrected from the dead. He now rules and reigns over this region. 
He saved me. He'll save them. Lord, let us begin to rise as a people bold, filled with faith, filled with fire to say our God still saves. Our God still reigns. Our God still heals. Our God still delivers. Lord, let them come. Let them be saved, healed, and delivered. May the north of Tacoma be saved. May the east of Tacoma be saved. May the central part of Tacoma be saved. May the west be saved. May the south be saved. May Pierce County be saved. Come, Lord Jesus. Manifest yourself. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord, may your angels go from this place. And, and deliver those who are homeless around here, Lord. Even as they begin to have tents and sleep around here, may they begin to have a strong sense they have to come into this place. And we're asking completely like the, 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 the demoniac, completely delivered and put in the right mind. Let's sing together. Coming to Tacoma again. I can hear the sound of rain. Coming to Tacoma again. I can hear the sound of sound of rain going to Tacoma again I can I can hear the sound of rain coming to Tacoma again I can oh I can hear the sound of rain Sound of rain coming to Tacoma again. I can hear it. I can hear the sound of rain coming to Tacoma again. I can hear the sound of rain. Justice, justice rolled down like a river. Righteousness flow like a stream. Justice rolled down like a river. Righteousness flow through these streets. Let justice roll down like a river. Righteousness flow like a stream. Let justice roll down like a river. Let righteousness flow. I can hear it. And I can hear the sound of rain coming to Tacoma again. I can hear the sound of rain coming to Tacoma again. I can hear the sound.
Lord, we just say Tacoma belongs to you. And we say Tacoma shall be saved. We say Tacoma shall be saved. So Jesus, we lift you up in this place. We declare you King of kings and Lord of lords. The Lamb of God, the Lion from the tribe of Judah. You are the victor over sin, death, and evil. And we say, Lord, come. Come and cause this region to awaken to the goodness, to your mercy, and to your grace. And we ask that there be a great awakening, a great awakening in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. 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 A couple things before we release you. Next week, we will only have two services starting next week. One at 10, one at 6. One at 10, one at 6. So we've been doing 9, 11, 30, and 6. We're going to do 10 and 6, okay? Until you hear otherwise, okay? So in Belfair, we'll just do that. We'll kind of mix it. And, you know, people like, the church likes to always have the same, you know, and we, we just go, we're family, okay? So we're just going to do what we feel God tells us to do. And so 10 and 6 next week and the following week, we have Matt um, uh, Sorger with us um, next week, okay? So if you don't know who he is, you can look him up. Powerful man of God. Powerful man of God. And so you can see um, on the 21st, um, so next Sunday morning, 10 o'clock, we'll be here preaching. It's going to be powerful. Um, uh, and then that night, Matt will be speaking. So, so um, he'll be here uh, next Sunday night. And have a powerful time. I'm just telling you, he's a powerful man of God. And so you're going to be blessed by that. Um, and then we have our, our registration for our youth camp. We do a youth summer camp every year. Powerful. I'm just telling you, it was so awesome last year watching. Um, one, our youth lead the band. It was so powerful. I was like, oh, my God, these kids are anointed. This is amazing. They led their own, you know, youth in worship. It was so powerful. I, I know the team helps, but meaning they, they're doing the, 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 the drums and the, the bass and the, the vocal. It was powerful. And then literally kids started getting, hearing God's voice, um, being delivered. Uh, we had a, a girl who's just got invited to the camp. She, she just, <laughs> no one even prayed for She just, <laughs> just started getting delivered. God just was touching her. She's now a part of the family. She's just like, her whole life's been, it's just been amazing. Um, but every, you know, one of the kids started getting up. This is what I just saw. And it's powerful. When you get kids away from all the distractions for a little bit of time, because that's the issue, is the distractions. So they get away. Not all the phones and all that stuff, and they meet with God. I'm just telling you, it changes. So uh, you might know families who have kids. You might have teenagers. But let's just pack that thing out. Um, uh, every year we get um, pretty close to kind of like um, no, no more position, no, no availability. So um, get your kids into that early. Um, uh, we have kids camp as well. The registration for that's not open yet, but just so you know, all that stuff comes in the summer, but we, we like to get the signups for it. It's an overnight camp for the youth. It's a day camp for the, for the, for the elementary, okay? Um, as well, how, uh, what, what, do we, what else do we have? I know I'm kind of stealing what you're supposed to do. Prayer and fasting this Thursday. Um, uh, you, you see it here. You, it's on, on, on Facebook. But you can see there, um, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And then that night, this, this uh, I believe Thursday, the 24th, 6 p.m. Uh, to 8 p.m. We're just going to pray um, fast, okay? So um, I'm going to be um, spending time this week uh, through the night just here in prayer. Uh, I know I've invited some of the disciples if they want to join me. Um, but I, I just, I don't, I just feel the urgency of prayer. For a lot, let us seek God's face. Let us seek God's face. Let's not be content with how things are. Let us not be content with how things are. And let's not be content. We're in an election year. I, not, I don't want another four years of this, okay? I don't. Because it's not just the economy. It's the wickedness that they, they, they're actually doing. I work in other nations. So that this nation... When it goes in the way of wickedness, it affects, all, it affects the nations of the world. And I'm just telling you, that's their agenda. 
Uh, I have health centers and hospitals in Africa. Um, the second Trump was elected, they said the gay agenda and the abortion agenda ceased in West Africa. The second he was elected, the no more funds came from the U.S. for it. The second he was elected. The second that Biden was put back in, all of it had funding. So then our nurses were being given, saying, we'll give you funds if you promote homosexuality, if you'll promote abortion. And we'll take away the funds if you won't. It's an agenda through the nations, okay? So we need to pray because it's not just, the, like I said, I like when the economy is well, okay? So, but it's more than that. It's the band of wickedness they're releasing to our generation, okay? To this generation. So uh, we, we need to be in prayer for our nation, but for this region. God's going to do something great, okay? And we need to be in prayer, calling God to move. I don't want it to happen five years from now. Now. I want God to come move, okay? So, but we're going to fast and pray. We're going to call God to come and move. Call for our neighbors and our family for them to, to, to get saved. So that's this Thursday we're going to be in prayer uh, in, in fasting. Um, yes, we pray for Israel. Yeah, we even give as a church every uh, to Israel. So we give and we pray for Israel. There, there's a thing that we give at the beginning of the year of our prayer, and Israel's always on it. So, but we will be praying for that as well, yes. Um, Love after marriage, we, I'm just telling you, love after marriage is the best thing we've found. We use their resources, um, meaning a kingdom mysteries to help your relationships bear kind of uh, the connection it's supposed to, okay? So sign up for that if you're married, um, if you're even engaged or anything like that. It's powerful, okay? If you are married and you're struggling, their book, I just suggest it. If you can't make the conference, their, their, their Love After Marriage book is powerful. But make the conference. It's going to be in Belfair. It's during the week. You do have to take some time. But people pay uh, quite a bit of money and go all the way to Bethel, because that's where it's usually at, um, to do this. And they come back like, oh, my gosh. But we're bringing it here to, to Belfair. So I'm just saying, don't miss it, okay? Don't, don't, don't miss that if you have that opportunity. It's Wednesday. Okay, the 24th is not Thursday. It's Wednesday. The following Wednesday. Okay, all right. I thought it was this week, but we, yeah. So, all right. Anything else? Nothing else? Okay. So, uh, may the Lord bless you and may he keep you. May he make his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you. May he add grace to you. May he lead you by his spirit and fill you with his peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you guys. Hope you guys have an